Hello guys, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the extended project permissions in Jira project. Now, extended project permission give you some extra ability. So if you're a project admin or a project lead for a particular project in Jira, and you have the project admin permissions and uh, along with that you have the project extended project admin permission then extended project permission gives you extra ability to edit the workflow and the issue screens up to some extent and in this tutorial we'll discuss what are those um, possibilities that or what all uh, access is available if you have extended project permission in Jira so let's go and go to the issues first and in the permission scheme we'll see what all uh, where you can edit the extended project permission in um, as an administrator so we have three different permission schemes so you have to if you want to extend the project permission for a particular scheme you can just go to that particular scheme and in the administer projects by default there is an ability to administer a project but then if you check this box extended project administration then it will enable the people in the project administrator role or whosoever is in that particular role to edit the workflow as well as some um, workflow and the screens up to some extent and we'll discuss what all is possible and what all is not possible if you have this particular permission so going back to this particular project what i'll do is i'll in this project you can see jay guyan is the project administrator so what we'll do is we'll log off as the administrator and log in as jay guyan and understand what all roles or what all access and permission is available for JQN. Now once I'm in the project logged in, uh, you can see the little cogwheel here and I have the access to administer the project since I'm logged in as JQN and JQN is the project administrator for this particular project. So current project is RCV Academy Online Portal. And we'll go to the project administration. Now, after you open this project, you can see all the project settings available here that are possible to be edited. Now, because JGN is or has the extended project permission, he can edit the workflow and screens up to some extent now if you click on the work in the workflow you will see the edit button available so here you can see that in the right hand top corner edit button is available there is limited possibility for the project admin to do the workflow editing and what all is possible for uh, the particular project admin in the workflow so workflow as far as this is the unique workflow and it is not shared by any other projects so your project admin will be able to do some of the updates and what all things can be done so you can add the status as far as these statuses are the existing status so you can't if you are a project admin you can't create the new statuses however any existing statuses you can still use so that permission you will have uh, apart from that you can delete the status so for example i do not want this status so i can remove this status from the workflow as far as I have the extended project permission. The condition is that there shouldn't be any associated issues with this particular status. So as you can see, when I try to remove the in progress status, you can see that there are issues in this particular status that need to be moved to another status. And that is why you need to contact your Jira administrator to get this done. So you, 
if there are issues associated with a particular status you can't delete it then there is some possibility or there is some uh, flexibility around uh, creating the transition or adding the transition as well and reusing transition now what you can't do with the transition is that you can't select or update a screen used by a transition or edit or view the transition properties you can't view or change the conditions or validators or any of the post functions so there is limited possibility that is available in the transition or the status so if that status is existing you can use it if there are issues associated with the status in the existing workflow you cannot delete it and with the transitions you can create update or delete transitions but you can't do anything with the uh, editing or viewing the transition properties etc so that is about the extended project permission for the workflow if we talk about the screens then the, as far as the screen is unique to this particular project the project admin will be able to do editing to the screen up to some extent so for example if we talk about this rop scrum default screen scheme if i click on the create issue screen you can see what all is available on this screen i can remove the statuses so for example on the uh, sorry i can remove the fields on the screen so for example i do not want the security level field then I, as a project administration uh, administrator with extended project permission i can remove the fields also i can add new fields to the screen as far as those uh, fields are existing but i cannot create the new field if i have to create the new field i have to ask project administrator to create the new field uh, the other condition is that this screen should be unique to this particular project if it is shared you can't do it the other customization that you can do is you can add the tab as well and then you can say something extra fields maybe which are not the mandatory fields you can add the tab and then you can add the new fields in this particular tab as well so for example environment you want to go uh, want to pick color etc so any extra field so that that is all possible as a project administrator you can rearrange the fields if you want in the screen so as far as this screen is unique to this particular project you can rearrange you can remove the field you can add the existing field you cannot create the new fields and you cannot do any changes if it is a default system screen or if it is a screen that is used as a transition screens in the workflow so if it is a transition screen you can't do any of the changes so as far as it is you know like the issue screens that you can see here you can do all the changes that we discussed here so edit screen view screen all these screens you can do the changes so if you click on view screen screen you can do similar updates in these screens as well so that is pretty much all about the extended project administration permissions and this is really really important to understand the difference between the jira administrator privileges what jira administrator can do and what jira project administrator can do and what a jira project administrator can do when he has jira project administrator extended permissions so with extended permission you have two more options or two extra um, ability to edit workflow and screens up to some extent so this is very important to understand what up to what level and what extent you will be able to edit the screens and workflow if you have extended project permission for your project so hope you like the video please do share and subscribe and thank you very much for watching